Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new TikTok piercing fan reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the Darjeeling, the Lapsang, Sushon, the Scolding Hot Assam? What is the tea? A tea house? Today, we are back for another helping of TikTok piercing fails because you send me so much to react to. So, lots of content to come. So, keep sending me things to react to. There'll be more videos like this. As always, please come follow me over on TikTok. It's Rolly West over there. Come follow me. Come have some fun. Come join the TikTok family and send me things to react to. And yes, yeah, so today, we're going to delve into the world of TikTok piercing fails. So, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. But... Let's not beat around the bush wattly eh? and get on with these TikTok piercing <gasps> fails. Ah, it's nice to feel human again. Okay, so what is this? Wait, is this person getting a... I beg your bitch, what? Oh my god, sorry, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. We need to relook at what just happened then when she put the needle in the top. Like, how. Wait. What the hell was that? And then use the same needle twice to do the bottom half as well. That top part of the ear, like, just. Pulling it like this, like when you push a needle through, you don't go, like what? Please do your research to who you're going to. Uh. King hell. Wow. Well, let's count the rest of it. So they're putting oh, this industrial bar is not staying in your, not staying in your ear, sis. Oh, same, same, same. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad bad and all the hair is in the way like pull the hair like the way that the piercers like just like rubbing like just touching all the hair like move the hair out the way what are you doing we need to just watch that beginning bit one more time when the needle goes through we need to we need to really watch the needle going through why was it oh i hate it unhinged like if a part of the body is so flimsy like that you need to put like a counter pressure on it so it doesn't flop around. Like that part of the ear is clearly too soft for this person to you to just like allow the, the, like, the ear's natural sort of like strength to hold it in place while you're pushing through. Use a clamp or use your fingers and hold it right up there so it doesn't like wiggle around. Like what are you doing? Like I shouldn't have to tell you this. You're fired. Okay, so let's try dimple. Oh, that's not one. The inspo is some like photo where you can't see anything. This is not a piercing you do yourself. I mean, don't do any, but like, this is not. <gasps> You're just gonna pierce into your mouth. Like, that but like that, that looks way too short. This is not all done. What do you wanna see next? I don't wanna see you do anything next, sis. Stop it. Get some help. Again, like, there are certain piercings that can, obviously, every single piercing has like a different level of danger or different level of like intensity. Like, an earlobe piercing is not the same as like an eyebrow piercing. They both carry very different risks and come with different like problems or whatever. Cheek piercings is one of those higher scale ones where, like, even when you get them professionally done, a lot of people will find that their cheek piercing just won't heal properly. It's a very difficult one to heal because it's so thick and it moves constantly that like it's so common for those to go wrong the idea that you would do it yourself is just unhinged she's dead that's not one you do yourself no 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 okay so what is this oh what? oh stop it no why why do people no why do people let their animals do this oh Was the cat suddenly spooked out by a stanky smell or something? Like, what? No. The thing is as well, take away from the fact that you're letting your cat chew your belly button piercing. Like, I don't think cats should be chewing on metal, should they? Like, that's not going to be good for their teeth. Like, I get they got teeth and, you know, they can chew, chew through a lot of things. But, like, chewing on metal, like, that's not going to be recommended by anyone. Okay, so what is Hi, this? Hi, today we're going to be piercing my ear, my industrial. Um, so, basically, I had my rug pierced. Oh, you can tell she's done all those other know, ones. Look at the way they're positioned. You can tell that she's done them all herself. Or something, I don't know. So I took it out, but I think an industrial would like- Why are you piercing an industrial? Like you don't, you don't even have the ear shape for it. Like your ear is not the shape for an industrial piercing to begin with. And, and you're going to do an industrial piercing yourself. So like that. going through that part, out that part. Oh, screaming and unclean. You can see how, you can 100% tell that she has done all the rest herself. Just the way that they're positioned and cluttered like that. You can tell that she did them all herself. Oh God, that your ear is not the shape for this. Like your ear is not the shape. Like, God. 
You're not even wearing gloves. Like, this, again, th these piercings are notoriously difficult to heal. Even going to a piercer, like, they're really difficult to heal. The fact that you would do it... The fact that you would do it... And there was the thing is as well, there was no lining up then properly. There was no lining up. There was no marks or anything you could even see. Your ear looks so bad. Like, that... Oh, wow. It's... It's... That... That's... Uh, that, that That's stupid. Like, that's really stupid. That's a really stupid thing to... Unhinged. I'm calling the police. Like, you... This part... This bottom half is not the... Sh uh, and you don't have enough rim here. Like, you're... This is really pulling it. And, like, now you, like, push these apart and then put... It's... This... Th this is not gonna end well. Like, this is not gonna end well. Like, not gonna end well. Like, like... There's, just, like, hair all in it as well. There's hair all around. Like, at this point, I just think people love having pieces growing out, a person getting infected, because I just don't... Like, how... You, like an industrial piercing your like it's look at the ear it's so red it's so red okay so what <gasps> what in the hell is that what these are these things are going absolutely insane that is foul that is foul that's foul jail go to jail immediately go to foul who's making this who is making this? That's disgusting. It also feels, again, like the last time they did one of these with a lip disc, it all it almost feels like ever so slightly racist. Like the fact they've got like as well, like tribalish music in the background as well, but they've just got this like white girl with these no strap. It, it just, it does feel a bit racist. Well, it wasn't even, you didn't even fix the problem. Didn't even fix the problem. You're a fraud, a, a total fraud. These things are disgusting. These things are so disgusting. How was, how, oh, I can't believe they're still being made. Oh, it's disgusting, it's vile. Okay, so what is, nobody, high school bathroom, oh, I've got to say. So this person's giving themselves a septum piercing in, wait a minute, wait, wait. The top of this part of the, the, the clamp is like right, in, so you're gonna stab the nose. <gasps> oh! Like, the top of it is, like, so far... Okay, they actually missed. The top of the, like, the other part of the clamp was, like, so in, in, into the nose. It looked like it was gonna... Oh, wow, that's really, like... L the positioning in this is, like, almost, like... T it feels like it's really low down. Oh, what are you doing? In the school bathroom. In a school bathroom. Why? Why? We are, this is 2023, bitches. Like, this is... what? What's happening? Why is it... No. 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 Do you know, after not having a fan for such a long time, it's nice to have like a fan again and be like, oh, yes, oh. Yep, he's gay. Be careful, because I'm literally going to break it in like two seconds. But in a skull. Okay, so what is this? So piercing snake bites. Why are they like piercing like... Wait, 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 wait. Why is it when sh they're just piercing? Like they're piercing just like into the mouth. Like pull the lip down. So you like you're just like piercing in. Why if you hit the tooth? Like what? I've never seen someone pierce. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Like, actually, piercers in the chat, correct me. I've never seen a piercer, like, when they're doing snake bites. So it's just, like, pierce, like, just into the mouth like that. Like, like horizontally, like, into the mouth. Like, you would normally, like, pull it out and then see so you know. What? That's, like, why don't you just hit the gum? What do you hit? What do I know? Absolutely nothing. Anyway, so they're putting the balls on of the snake bites. Blah, 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 blah. Hang on now, nah. let's go back, shall we? I mean, there's Wonky, and then there's this. Wonky donkey, wonky donkey. <laughs> God, millennials are shook. How did you get that uneven? How did you get it this uneven? How did you get this uneven? Because I was drunk. Okay, so what is this? So, <gasps> oh, I think it's getting infected. Trigger, see, cheek piercing. It's a cheek piercing. A d you need to get a bigger bar in that sis like if, you, if you're gonna if you want to try and heal that you need to get a bigger bar in that because clearly the fact that your cheek is like eating it anytime you touch that now you need to properly scrub everything wear gloves make sure everything because that is like border like that's bordering on like real problematic issue like see it say it sort it welcome to penge <clears throat> okay so what is this Mommy, can we get our clips pierced at Claire's? Yes, sweetie. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Sure. Why not? <laughs> With a piercing gun, no doubt. Disgusting. 
Okay, so what is it? A massive bump on a conch piercing. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, it looks a bit go- Oh! As soon as I saw it, I already knew it was the wrong jewelry. What? The pierce- The- the piercer put a curved barbell in a conch piercing. Like, what are you doing? So I switched to cheap Julian's and inserted a librette disc with removed pressure on the bump. Yeah, those little discs are quite good to get rid of them. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? This is what happens when you pay $5 for your piercing. Exactly. Is that tea? Gosh. I feel like I've seen this person's uh, Instagram before because of all the colorful tattoos. I remember going like, oh, I love colorful tattoos. A curved barbell and a conch piercing. I don't think. I don't think. Okay, so what is this? 13 year old gets her septum pi- 13? 13? Getting her septum pierced at 13? Oh, I- Oh, that makes me a bit uncomfortable. 13? 13? Oh, oh, when she's grabbing hold there, she- Like, if, you, if you're gonna be like grabbing hold of the piercing, like, she's just like grabbing- Yeah, I, d sh I don't think she should be that- I don't know. 13 seems very young to be getting septum piercings. Like, is that legal here? Would you be able to get, th like, there are certain piercings you can get if you're underage with parents' consent, but a 13 year old getting a septum pierce, I don't think that would be legal here. I don't think you can. I think you'd have to be at least 16. I don't think you can get it. 13 seems way too young to be getting septum piercings. Like, get your ear lobes pierced, even get a helix piercing, live your life, girl. But, like, a septum piercing, it just feels a bit. Hmm. Again, a lot of this comes by your own laws because laws are different all around the world. So like maybe where she's from, I don't know where, where she's from, but like maybe where she's from, you know, the laws are different and people are more used to it. But like, at least in the UK, I don't think you could get this done at 13. But I just think, I just think it, it, it's quite a young age to be getting that kind of piercing. Like just get your earlobes done or something like 13. Like you don't need a septum piercing, I don't know. What do you feel? Comment down below. What's your take on this? And also, because she was like grabbing hold of the piercer and like freaking out and stuff like, to me, it just says you're a bit too young for this kind of piercing. I don't know. Am I being too like old man-ish? Yes, you are. Okay, so what is this new piercing as a thumbtack? Ah! I beg your <gasps> What was that? What was that? What was that? My oh. ass. I'm out. 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 Insert clip here of Deborah Meaden saying I'm out. I'm not going to use it anymore because she's a turf, but I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, so cursed piercings I found part two. Wonderful. This has been a part one. Oh, gum piercings. Yeah, no, very cursed. Oh, uvula piercings. I don't know if they're really true to be honest. Cursed. Something cursed. Oh. That absolute jail, his eyes. Okay, so I cannot show that one. What? A throat? What's a disgusting belly button piercing? Did that just say Jasmine's pussy? Wait, what's that, wait, what does that last bit say? Is that gonna say Jamie's pussy? <laughs> Choices were made that. And yes, all of that was definitely cursed. Okay, so what is this? Wait, wait repeat after me. Vapor rub. Vapor rub, ugh. Does not. Does not. Go on. Go on. Your fresh and healing piercing. Your fresh and healing piercing. What's vapor rub? Vapor rub. It's in like. So. Wait, vapor rub. Wait, it says vapor rub. It's in like Vix. It's in like the, the, when you have like a cold, like a Vix vapor rub, where it's like you put it on your chest and your back and your side. This is open up, girls. I feel like Vix doesn't really work anyway. But like, did this person put Vix vapor? Was it? Did they put that vapor rub? Did they put Vicks Vapor? Who told them to put Vicks Vapor Rub on a pierce? What? Why would you do that? Please, like, if again, let me let me know down below. If Vapor Rub is something else and it's not this Vicks Vapor Rub, please let me know. But like, when I think of Vapor Rub, I think of like Vicks Vapor Rub. You know when you rub it on your chest, it's that you see this advert. Remember, like in the nineties and two thousands, there was this advert. Was, like, this mum like putting it over their like kids back, and like as she did it, the like you see these like arrows and airways being like, <gasps> and it was so like exaggerative. It was ridiculous. But like. Vix? Was it Vic Va Vix Vapor Rub on a piercing? I think not, girl. I don't think so. That's not a good idea. It's disgusting. Okay, so what is it? Best dad? Wait, what? Best deserving dad, world's best father. And she they've got this child who's about six years old getting a nose piercing with a gun in a shopping mall. Best father? The best father? I think not, girls. Wrong. He was so wrong. Vile. Vile. 
vile. Nose piercings with a gun, literally a six-year-old girl in a shopping center. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Okay, so what is high navel? Wait, what, 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 what? Just doing, oh. Somehow being clean apparently is uh, just touching with the bare fingers and the nails. Uh. Why, like, why? I just don't understand why you want it that badly that you're just like willing to risk your health. It just makes no sense. Like, you want it that badly. I just, I just find it so weird that people are so happy just to risk their own health. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. All for the sake of a piercing. Like, it's not that deep. Like, it's not that serious. Like, it's not that deep. You don't need a piercing to survive. Like, it's just unhinged. Okay, well, what is this? Whenever I go out and get my ears pierced somewhere, they always get infected because people are disgusting. So I just decided to do them myself. Anyways, I got these like- Yes, I'm sure it's their problem. What, like, you like, you're happy to use little piercing cartridges to pierce your ears. I'm sure it's their fault why your piercing's gone wrong. Probably not the fact that you're using awful instruments. No, like just no gloves. No, like it's just- Two hundred and sixty-seven thousand likes. The amount of people that this person probably influenced to do this as well. Now I just have to make sure it's always clean. But other than that, it looked really pretty and even. I really, really recommend it. <sighs> Should we listen to that last bit again, shall we? Even. I really, really recommend it. I really, really recommend it. Great. Thank you. So this is one of, again, this has always been in my biggest, like, annoyance with a lot of this stuff. It's like, if you want to do this to yourself, you know what? You live your life, girl. You do it. Still awful. But to then go on the internet like this and just be like, oh, it's It's just irresponsible and ridiculous, and it's just not okay. Like, it's just not okay. No, actually, it's not. Anytime I go to a piercer, they get infected. Probably because you're doing something wrong. If they keep getting infected every time you go to a piercer, you're probably doing something wrong. So what's the common denominator here? You. Oh. Okay, so what is this? Oh. 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 Wow. Why would you have a... Like... That's a huge bar to have on that. Like that. You're just asking for your front teeth to be like chipped away because it looks healed. It doesn't look like that is an old, you know, like an unhealed piercing. It doesn't look swollen or anything. So like the bar being that length seems a bit extreme. Even having for like a brand new one, like that length of bar does seem a little bit too long even for like a fresh piercing. But the balls are so big. Like it just feels like this is like a belly button. You've decided to put a belly button sized kind of piercing into your lip. I mean, if you want it, fine, but your teeth are going to hate you. Okay, so what is this? <gasps> oh, fuck. I'm so, I'm so sick of these things. I'm so sick of this. This is like one of the last ones I'm watching ever. That is absolutely foul. Like that's foul. That is absolutely foul. Foul. What is happening? The, I cannot believe how big this has become. And I'm sure, yes, I've obviously aided things like this because I've put it in videos and stuff, but I just find it infallible. There's, there's enough market that they've been... How many have we... They, like, they've made so many. Like, how many of them we've watched now? That's just... How many of these have we watched? What, like, 20? Like, this is just unhinged. This is one of the worst ones we've seen. This is... What the hell? Like, what the hell? It, it's just foul. It's just foul. Who is that for? Who is that for? Not me. Okay, so what is yes. this? Wait, what? What's happening? My whole life leads up to googly eyes on my nose. Iconic. Blush. <laughs> okay, so what is this? Oh, 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 look at all those dead skins. Why do people just hate cleaning themselves? Why do people hate cleaning themselves? Oh, it's so gross. Like, I don't get why you would have a piercing and just go, I'm not going to clean it. Like, again, that's not just like a one night thing. That's like, I haven't cleaned my piercing in like a week. Like, sure. My biggest secret is that my nose ring is literally stuck in my nose and I don't change it because it's literally grown into the skin. You guys are in a crisis. I'm on my way. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. 
Okay, so what is this? Oh, oh, wait, wait, what? That was quick. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh, it looks so cool. Oh, I love that. See, do it right, bitch. Like this, this, that, hang on. Let me just, let's just like pause it. That looks so cool. I love it. Oh, I absolutely love that. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. So they got it done and then fully healed. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. And you can see as well that this jewelry has been made with it in mind. We've seen a few of these before, but like you can clearly see they've just like tried to shove it through a plug they already had and it was like the plug looks bent and trying to like a bit skew whiffed because obviously it wasn't made for it. This has clearly been made for this. So it's, you know, the plug isn't like bent or like pushed out of shape. Beautiful, I love this so much. It's always nice to see the good sometimes, isn't it girls? Hooray! Okay, so what rhino piercing, oh gosh. He's got, this is quite a, this is quite like a bold piercing to get for someone who doesn't have any other piercings. Oh God. I mean, I get that it's sped up, but that looked really aggressive. Like, I, I, I understand that people want things and like, I personally don't like rhino piercings. I don't think they really suit anyone, but like, I think it's quite a bold choice to get a rhino piercing when like, Yes, I can't see all of his body, but like if we have a little glimpse of his ear here, his ear doesn't look like it's got anything on it. Like there's nothing here. There's no, there's no like if you look at his ear, like it doesn't look like he's really like his ear doesn't look like he's got anything. So I'm assuming his other side's probably the same. Like obviously it's not the same as like getting face tattoos because you could just take this out. So it's not in the same level. And I'm not saying that at all. So I'm not, don't mis misunderstand me. But to get a rhino piercing when you've got nothing, it is quite a bold piercing to get when you've got nothing else. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's so, it's like it stands out so much. You don't really see them very often as well. Like they're very rare. So like th there's a reason why they're rare but because most people don't like them. But I like, I don't think I've actually really seen many people that like Rhino Rhino piercings. But yeah, I just think it feel like it's quite a bold piercing to get for your first one. Do you agree with me? What, tell me what you think down below. Because I, per yeah, I personally don't really like Rhino piercings. But if you want them, fine. You know, look after it. You live your life, girl. I'm glad this person's gone to a professional. Okay, so wait, what? <laughs> Death by Mr. Blobby. Well, I'm not sleeping tonight. Thanks for that. <laughs> blobby, Blobby, Blobby. Here come. I'm sorry. But like, throughout time of the UK, we've had some weird things on TV. I've had weird mascots, but like lots of strange things have happened in the UK, you know, from the TV shows from the 80s and 90s and early 2000s. But like Mr. Blobby was probably one of the weirdest things that we came up with. He is absolutely terrifying. Like looking back now, terrifying. Like how, I just, I just find Mr. Blobby and the whole concept of Mr. Blobby just like terrifying. He was on Noel's house party and he did other things, other things as well. He kind of became like a celebrity in his own little right, the character. So he was on different shows and would go on like, you know, breakfast shows and all that stuff and just like trash everything. He had TV series and all this shit. But like, it's just, I just don't get it. Like looking back now, I just don't understand because he's just, it's just terrifying. His voice is terrifying. Just the fact that he would just cause chaos. Like, I mean, it obviously is very catered towards children. So that's probably why we were like, oh my God. Eh. But like looking back as an adult, I'm like, this is terrifying. Death by Mr. Blobby. Literally death by Mr. Blobby. Mr. Blobby death. <laughs> Blobby's death. Like that is, oh, I can't. Oh, it's horrible. Okay, so what is it? So I got my nose pierced at the mall today. I should have stopped when I seen the ear gun. Oh God. Well, I mean, you're in a shopping mall. What are you expecting? Oh, the wonky, wonky, wonky donkey. Wonky donkey, wonky donkey. I mean, I'm not trying to say like it's your own fault, but also like, why did you go to a shopping mall for nose piercings? Like again, you're just going to go to shopping. Like obviously if there's a piercing studio within the shopping mall, like fair enough, that's in a piercing studio, but like, um, the, the fact, like, a shopping, like, shopping centres and shopping malls and, you know, all that stuff, like, with chaos and things on the side with free pierce things, just pay for the jewellery. Oh! Disgusting. Like, that is a red flag. Run. No, sorry, that's a red gazebo. That's an entire red, like, uh. canopy. Like, just literally don't. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Again, I still find it really strange that there's been no laws at all to say that, like, these piercing kiosks and like shopping centers and things and in Claire's like I just don't understand how it's still like allowed I just find it like it feels like such a relic of the past there's a reason piercing studios would never do it like there is a reason there and I just find it so perplexing as to why nothing's come and been like oh maybe these people who 
Like, or maybe these like young teenagers and things shouldn't be piercing other kids with like piercing guns at a shopping center with a more like it just I just find it strange that there's been nothing again, like nothing has come out and been like, oh, maybe we shouldn't do it. Because it, it just feels like a relic of the past. Do you not think it just feels so outdated? It feels so outdated. What's the tea, sis? It's wet. Well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. Choo choo, speeding down the railway, about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Oh, I'm back like Jesus. Squat for Jesus, girl. Squat. Hey, sure you're squatting for Jesus. Oh, yeah, Jesus was a bottom. Jesus loved a good peach. This bitch is crazy. So, thank you for watching today's video. This has been a lot. Again, what, like, what was that? What, I still can't get over that horrific industrial piercing where the piercer was like, Oh, I'm gonna bend the needle. Go, like, pull the ear and bend it all. Twist the bones and bend the back. Well, this way, that way, forward, was that was over the Irish scout. I don't understand what the hell that was all about. Like, why was they... <sighs> Absolutely not. Guys, as I always say in these videos, don't pierce up at home. Do your research and go to a professional with lots of good reviews. Make sure you actually like look into who you're going to, please. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. And of course, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. I've, and if you think like through the things I said in this video, Give me your opinions about the you know, 13 year old getting an acceptance piercing. There was a couple of other questions I asked in this video as well. I don't want to top of my head, but yeah, let me know everything I asked for down below. Leave some comments, all the good things. Today's Twitch shout out goes to the Pie Fairy. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. If you would like to be in with a chance of being the next Twitch shout out, come follow me over on Twitch. It's really west over there. Come have some fun with us. We're currently playing through uh, Resident Evil 4, the remake. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And we'll have some other little games being thrown in as well. So make sure I'm out of breath now after doing all the squatting and jumping and stuff. I'm out of breath, girls. I need to work on my cardio some more. But anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> Flot, yeah, social media links are all down below. Thank you to my lovely Patreons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Thank you for being a Patreon. You guys are delicious. But an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons. Amy Hudson, Rishi, Amanda, Miranda Hart, Athena Berrington, Hunter Portwood, Erin Grace, Jenna Beth Herman, Zoe Severe, Heather McFarland, Christina Kyle, Benjamin Baker, I at, Robin Scott Palmer, Corin Pemberton, Bethard, Steph Utek, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier Patreons. You guys are delicious. Anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch other say that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless.